Hello guys, today we will be learning how to set up the taxi app. First we will set up the GPS tracking. We will be creating a pub nut. Let's click on the I icon. A window will pop with the pop nut settings. Here you will need to copy the first URL and paste it in your browser so we can set up the pop nut account. Once on the PubNub website, please log in with your account or you can log in with your Google account. Once logged in, you will see the dashboard. On the bottom left, you will see enter a new app name. For our test, we will enter sample test taxi. Once you enter your app name, click on create new app button. It will create the keys for you for your app. On the right hand side, we can see it created the sample test taxi. Now let's click on device keys. Now we will get a publish key and a subscribe key. Please copy these keys. First copy the publish key and go back to the AppyPi platform and paste it in the publish key. Next, copy the subscribe key and paste it on the subscribe key field as well. Once the keys have been inserted, Please click on save and next to continue. Next we will configure the payment settings. Click on the little eye icon and a window will pop up. Copy the first link to log into your Stripe account. Copy the link to your browser and log into your account. If you don't have an account, you can sign up. After creating your account, please go to your account on the top corner and select account settings. Inside account settings, Click on the APY Keys tab. In here you will see the Life Secret key. Please copy this key and paste it back into the panel under Life Secret Key field. Now copy the Life Publishable key and paste it into the Life Publishable key field. Once completed, please click on Save and Next to continue. Next you will need to add your bank account. You will need to go back to Stripe. At the top, click on the yellow switch to make the account go live. Once you click on here, you will get a pop-up window, account not activated. Click on activate account. It will take you to a new page to insert your account details. Please fill in the required info. It is not loading for us now because we have not verified the email address. So please make sure you verify the email address so you can set up the bank account. Once it has been verified, please go back and fill in all the information and click on activate account. It will take two to three days to activate the Stripe account. Next, we will set up the Google Maps settings. First, click on the little eye to bring up the help screen. Copy the first URL and paste it into your browser. Once on the Google web page, please click on the Get Key. Select Yes to agree to the conditions and click on Agree and Continue. It will create a new project. It might take a few minutes to create. Next, click on Continue to create a project. Once the project has been created, it will open to the credentials page. Here it will ask you for the bundle ID for your taxi passenger app and driver app. You can get it from the panel, copy and paste it. Next, click on create. It, it will generate a new key. Copy this new keys and paste it into the panel in the AppyPy side. Once this is done, go back to your Google Maps. Go to library and enable Google Directions API iOS and click on enable. These are the settings for the iOS. Next, we will do the Android one. Go into Library again, select Google Maps Android API, and click on Enable. After it has been enabled, please go back to Credentials. Click on Create Credentials. Select API Key. And click on Android Key. It will ask you for your package name. Please add your names from the AppyPy dashboard. Just copy and paste. Also, you need to copy the SHA key. Please copy this one as well and paste it into the field. 
After you insert the keys, click on Create. It will generate a new key. Please copy this one and paste it on Google API key for Android. Now we have the iOS and Android APY keys. Now we can click on Save and Finish. Now we need to configure the push notifications for both driver and passenger apps. Please click on here. Click on the I and follow the tutorial for creating your APN files. Now go to your AppyPi dashboard. Click on Taxi Service and go through it to make sure you have everything set up correctly. Next, you can go into the Admin Panel. Now this is the panel to manage your Taxi Service app. Go to Cities. Click on Add New City to add your Taxi's company city. Select the country, state, city name, and click Add. Once added, it will give you the longitude info. After this, you need to add your company's name, address, city, state, zip code, first name, last name, email, and mobile number. And also, please remember to change the status to accept it. Now let's click on add. Now this new company will be created with the status accepted. Next, you will need to create vehicle for the company. First, we need to create vehicle fare. Select vehicle type fare. Fill in the info for the vehicle. Vehicle type name, minimum seat number, max seat number, base fare, minimum fare, price per minute, price per kilometer, cancellation price if there is any, and description. Once you added this info, click on add. After this, we need to add the vehicle type. Select vehicle, new, click on new vehicle. Now select the company, city, vehicle type, make, model, registration number, license plate number, insurance number, vehicle color. You can even upload the certificate of registration and also select the expiration date. Next, we can upload the insurance certificate and enter the expiration date as well. And remember to change the status to accept and active. Once finished, click add. Your vehicle will be added. Next, you will need to assign that taxi to a driver. Let's create a driver now for this vehicle. Click on driver, add new driver, now insert the info for the new driver, first name, last name, mobile, email, password, zip code, company, license plate number, and status. You can also upload a photo of the driver, upload the driver's license, and upload a passbook. And you can also enter the license expiration date. After filling in all the info, click on Add. You will need to accept the new driver. Also, there's a limit on the drivers depending on your plan. You can click on here to view the details. And upgrade your plan if you need more drivers. Let's go back to our taxi admin panel. We can also check our passenger details here. If there's any passenger register, we can see it here. Passage, passengers can register from their mobile device. We can also see the booking details. It will show the status of the drivers and bookings. If there have been any cancellations, it will also show here. And you can also check the history. If you want to upload new promo codes, you can also do it here under promo codes. Create new promo code. Select the name, promo, code value, type, users allowed, expiration date, and status. This way your passengers can receive special promotions you might be having. You also have a passenger rating sections. 
for drivers reviews and as well as any disputes. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Please stay tuned for our next video.